Hello guys, Montoya Police here and today I'm going to be doing the awaited tutorial and the first video on my channel of how to make avis on, um, for tunes on um, Twitter. So first of all you're going to need this um, Photoshop CS3 or any other CS, whatever one you want to use and the tune template which will be in the link in the description below. So first of all what you want to do this template, you want to select the magic wand tool and you want to um, make sure the uh, layer is actually unlocked by, if it was locked it would have a little um, a little lock here and you can double click it and press enter to get rid of that so what you want to do is you want to get rid of the uh, like where the shirt would be you want to accept that and delete that and uh, right click and press deselect and you want to do the same with the bit outside of it um, basically this helps you later on so we're going to do a Gareth Bale to the may already be one I'm not sure so the first of all we're going to need for this is you're actually going to need a, a kit I've searched for the Tottenham Hotspot kit um, and I found this picture which is quite good so I'm going to copy this and paste this into the um, into the um, layer uh, layer template whatever so you want to put this below the template and you want to press Control T to select it and you want to align it. Uh, this is one way of making it to align it, um, like in between the um, the uh, line guidelines. So you can like resize this. Um, so let's say once you resized it, you see there's these bits around uh, here, which actually make it look a bit bit bad uh, per se. So what you want to do is you want to use the um, whatever this tool is called, um, this whatever it's called and you want to select the colour of the kit here and you want to get the paintbrush and I'll make a new layer here probably just to make it easy for yourself make sure it's just in, just, uh, just in the middle and you want to actually paint over these bits here and you can do this all the way around the kit now I've actually already done this here so as you can see it kind of looks okay now you see you're left with this bit here around the edge but that's going to be no problem what you want to do is select the um, the um, eraser tool and you just want to kind of go around very carefully you can actually click on the lines because um, the layer is actually below the line so I'll be back with you once I've just done this okay so I've erased all the bits on the outside and just to check that it's okay I'm gonna put it in front of here in, um, there we go and you can see that it looks okay um, if you move it back under it looks fine so my next part of this tutorial is actually adding the effect onto the kit which is my main trick for kits uh, I could say so what I want to do is we want to select it in a shadow style and you want to click on that and you want to change the size to whatever you think is suitable personally I like it around uh, 30, 30 ish but it, it depends on each stuff and obviously you can change it to whatever you want uh, so yeah that, that, that'll do um, 46 so we'll zoom out a bit that looks so that's quite good so now we're actually going to move on to the face and we're actually doing a Gareth Bale tune so I'm going to get a picture of Gareth Bale and I'll be back with you in a second so now you've inserted your image into the um, Photoshop uh, canvas you want to um, use this tool again uh, which looks a bit like a uh, injection thingy I just want to press that on his skin uh, so you can get like a uh, skin colour for it you want to hide that by pressing the little I and you want to click on back on your template um, layer so you, what you want to do you want to press the fill tool and you want to fill it and you think maybe, well, that's that's maybe not an even like colour for a skin so you want to press ctrl z you want to double click this you want to kind of just find the right skin colour for him so yeah that'll do so after you've done that you go back onto well actually I like to go to the paintbrush tool and for eyes I do size 14 and I make it black uh, and you just put in the two eyes here and for the mouth this is fairly simple I do a new layer I make the brush size 2 and I draw a line but before I do that I press, I press shift and then I, and then I press oh hang on I forgot to change the colour oh no I don't control there so I press uh, shift and I press the mouse and I go across to make it straight I shall zoom in a bit and um, then I just do like the lower mouth area oh, that's not very really good you can take a couple of tries of this just press ctrl z to undo your try that will do for this bit, uh, you want to use the fill tool and select the white and just fill that in, now you can mess about with that all you want but we'll leave that till later now my favourite part of this is actually the hair now I've actually got a good angle for this hair for this picture because it angles up with the same angle that the tune template is actually at so what you want to do for the hair is actually um, hold down the uh, left part of the mouse on the lasso tool until you get these three options and you want to select the magnetic lasso tool what this does is it basically sticks to like the colour so what we're going to do we're going to go around all the hair so it's going to do it now you can watch me just like do this and this is basically how I get all my hair for my edits so it's going to go around his big monkey ears 
and now you can go over these bits here to give it better effect I like to personally do this I think it looks better after you've done uh, some stages later so yeah I'll be back you once I've finished all this so guys um, you wanna uh, press on the first uh, little uh, square you did and that and you'll get over this bit here so you'll select we want to make sure that you're actually um, on the layer 2 the picture of him you actually want to make sure you're, um, you're like on that layer so you want to click on that and you want to uh, right, right click on the mouse and press layer via copy so you want to um, press the eye on this and just close that with the hair now you want to um, make it so it sizes up with the actual um, uh, template itself so we're doing this now and what you may see is it may look okay but you think this bit uh, the bit at the bottom is in the way so you select the eraser tool and you just erase that away uh, this is looking okay so the hair's okay I think so now you may think it looks a bit blurry so you want to zoom out uh, make it a bit size more size yeah that's good um, you want to double click this you want to go to color overlay and you want to select the color of his hair which is black uh, it's about black a bit brown maybe that's good and that's a Gareth Bale kind of yeah that's good so now you want to add your effects to the actual template itself so you want to double click this press inner shadow and there you go you've added a um, you've added a effect now this is basically how I make all my tunes guys um, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and share it on your tune twitter um, if you've got any other suggestions for headers maybe leave in the comments below and I will uh, be sure to show you how to make this if you've got any questions please tell me all the links that I've mentioned in the video will be in the description below and always guys have a nice day